When I think about water and what it means to me, I can remember as a child being at the beach, hot summer days, swimming in the swimming pool. I see it as a really important part of our environment, of our wellbeing, of our communities, and I'm really privileged to be able to work in water during my career. In my early childhood, we lived in Western Queensland, a dry area, didn't rain often. When there was rain, you were able to go and swim in the watering holes. Every time we went on a holiday, which was usually to the Gold Coast, Immediately what comes to mind is joy. You know, the joy of being surrounded by water, being able to swim in water, drink water. And I remember those times just being really joyful as a kid. So that's kind of what I associate with water. AWA was founded in 1962. It's been a constant, strong organisation and having achieved 60 years since its foundation, it's an amazing milestone and a sign of wonderful things to come. So from four individuals in 1962 to 40 to 400 to 4,000 to now over 5,500 members who are now part of the Australian Water Association journey. It's incredible, isn't it, to be celebrating 60 years. I think it speaks to how the association has really remained relevant over that time so that, you know, share, connect and inspire. When I look back at some of the early speeches that were made by presidents, it was all about that. That's still at the heart of what we do. And to create a better world. So thank you so much for having me. So when I look back on the history, I can see the richness and the people that have come before us and what they have created and how we've been able to sustain it for 60 years. That's pretty incredible. I joined AWA back in 1979 or thereabouts, and it's when AWA was the Australian Water and Wastewater Association, so it was AWWA. Some years later, of course, we changed the name, and I was in the water world. The reason that we need AWA now and into the future is for the same reason from when it was established, and that is to, to create a space uh, where people can share knowledge, can learn. If we think about the fact that the association was started as a cross-disciplinary organisation, it still is, uh, perhaps even more so than it was in the beginning. I think it's great that the association has ridden the ups and downs of uh, water management challenges, not only the country but the planet. The move from the AWA conference to Oswater was a significant step and to bring the conference into a, an annual conference was even stronger because it was a gamble but it paid off and AWA is probably one of the only organisations that has a very successful annual conference. One stage it was pretty much only members but now they, uh, they branched out. Uh, to include the entire water industry and internationally. So that, that's an incredible achievement. The Australian Water Association is inspiring our next generation of water professionals. If we want to create change and get a better outcome for our communities, AWA is going to play a big part in that. Oh look, for me it's all about the people. You know, the people make the association uh, work and it's making sure that you are heard, you have a voice, and that we provide an opportunity for you to collaborate and network and inspire for us to continue on the right trajectory to provide our future generations with the water it deserves. Members feel value with what we do as an organisation. Uh, the Australian Water Association has for 60 years demonstrated its longevity and its ability to be able to be relevant. The AWA has recognised that water is not standalone utility, it's not a standalone issue. It's interconnectivity with the whole economy, this country and, and across the world. It's full of wonderful like-minded people um, who really work together and support each other. A connection, um, an industry voice and an industry forum. That's what it's always meant to me. So for an association in Australia to go 60 years is quite phenomenal and it shows you the presence and the importance that so many people have about water because without water we wouldn't have anything. And we're an organisation that was built on volunteers. For the first 20 years of AWA we were completely volunteer run and we didn't have our first full-time CEO which was Chris Davis until the 1980s. Today, our volunteers contribute a huge amount and we wouldn't be the organisation we are without the time and commitment that our passionate volunteers give us each and every day. It's have to experience going to an Oswater and you feel you know, just how collaborative and connected the industry is and AWA is, is really the key uh, to that. It's been an incredible 60 years for the association and for the water sector more broadly. I'm really excited to see what lies ahead 
and for now we've got a lot to celebrate. Yeah, the Australian Water Association, congratulations on 60 years. I think it's fabulous because I just had my 60th birthday, so the fact that the AWA is as old as I am is just a hoot. <laughs> Happy 60th anniversary, AWA.